Houston, we have a problem. Well, welcome. This is Scott Law, the world's oldest vlogger. And today we're going to talk about how to recover your drone in case something happens to you, like you saw in the first parts of this video. You know, uh, you may be old at this uh, game or you may be brand new. Either way, it has happened or it will happen where you are out flying your drone getting some beautiful footage when the unthinkable happens and away goes your drone or you lose it in some trees or bushes or whatever it might be and you've got to find it. Well, there are some ways to help recover that. And the one we're going to talk about today is the little app that's inside of the Go4 software called Find My Drone. Maybe you saw the video that I did a couple of weeks ago where I lost my drone and eventually found it, thank heavens. Uh, if not, there's a link to it down in the description below. You can go down there and click on that and go watch it and it'll show you the experience that I had with it. By the way, I got a lot of great comments. What a super community this is of people who want to be helpful and want to give me ideas. I went home uh, after that experience and spent a couple of days researching and practicing and learning more about what to do when you do lose your drone because a lot of you that's going to happen to you if it hasn't already and that's what we're going to talk about today is specifically the program called find my drone which has some issues and i'm going to talk about those issues and maybe how we can try to work around them a little bit uh, a lot of that's going to depend on the device you're using but especially for bruce uh, there at uh, Colorado Professional Inspections, I want to say, let's get straight to it. All right, we're going to take her for a little flight. Uh, we're going to we're here in a church parking lot, and so we're only going to take her about uh, uh, 200, a couple hundred meters away, and. Uh, and land it and, uh, so it's, it's too close to me so it's not comfortable but uh, I think we found our location so I'm gonna take her a couple hundred yards away I'm not gonna waste your time or mine obviously I didn't uh, 
give you a chance to watch it link up and stuff because you probably already know as much or more about that than I do. So uh, let's get her started and the point is to look at find my drone, not to necessarily watch, uh, watch it fly around my neighborhood here. So here we go. All right, well, so as I said earlier, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, signal lost, remote controller signal weak. We don't know where she is. What are we going to do? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this DJI logo in the upper left-hand corner up here. And uh, that is going to take us back to the standard uh, home screen. And now over on the right side, you see those three parallel bars that are over on the right side. We're going to touch those and that's going to open up a new menu here. And if you notice, uh, in this case, the, towards the bottom there, we're seeing where it says, Find My Drone. So we're going to hit that. And guess what? It pops up and it says, over here on the right side, that is where the drone is. The red arrow on the right side is where the drone is. The blue arrow on the left is where I am. Now I can shrink this down using my pinch fingers, you know, uh, the pinch mode you do on the on your screens, or I can make it larger. The nice thing here is we have streets, and so we can tell exactly where we are from the streets, uh, and now that we know where the drone is, I could just turn this off and walk over. But what if I was out in the middle of the, the forest somewhere where we didn't have these streets to follow things with? Uh, that could be a real problem. So I'm going to start walking straight, uh, what I think is probably straight, uh, pretty much on this green line. But, but the problem is there's buildings in the way. So I'm going to have to go around those houses. This map doesn't show those houses, but they're there. Uh, you have some other options here, some other menu options. Uh, over on the left side, you see there's uh, one that looks like layers. If you touch that, it shows you some other maps. And uh, you can hit the satellite map. But guess what? All it does is go away. Why? Because I don't have access to the satellite map right now. Same thing with the hybrid map. You've got to have uh, the satellite and the standard together to get the hybrid. So in my case, we're going to stick back with the, uh, with the standard map. And then you notice when I touch that standard map, the, uh, the two arrows come back on. The other thing we can do is we can go into that one and into this, the second one down, which looks like a compass signal. And it is supposed to give us a, a compass, but uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's one of the issues that I've been talking about uh, that I said we would, we would talk about a little bit more. Another one is down here in the far lower, lower, lower left corner. You see something that looks like crosshairs on a scope. If you hit that, what it's going to do is uh, open up this other little window where you can hit either the home or the arrow. We're going to hit the arrow, and that gives us a far away view. Matter of fact, in this case, so far away that because I'm using the standard maps, and I've loaded the, download those offline, it doesn't show us everything. So we're going to pinch it together. Uh, I can never remember which way it goes. So you spread your fingers apart and to zoom in, to zoom in on it. So it just takes us back to where we were again. But if for some reason uh, you got disoriented a little bit, that's some one way you can go back to reorient yourself and and get it back on. Uh, I am standing here on the corner and I'm just about to cross this street here which you see is North 2700 West uh, comes into the screen. That's the other thing you can move this around on, on your map obviously. I'm just about to cross it and some people are waiting for me to cross the street here so I guess I better hurry and here's where the problem comes into play. 
Sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to update. Now in this case, that wasn't bad. It popped on up there. But, but be aware that a lot of times it's going to take a little bit of time to update to it. So I am walking up 725 North. You can see it keeps, it keeps updating every once in a while. And I happen to know, since I know where it is, I know that right now I am immediately to the south of, uh, of where my drone is. And there, finally it updated to where my drone is. Now, let's say I didn't know where it was, uh, which would obviously would be uh, most often the case. And let's say that it wasn't someplace where I could physically see it, but I knew that I was in the vicinity of it. It has a tool, a very nice tool, uh, in here that you can help yourself find it and I'm going to get over real here and hopefully you'll be able to hear it but you touch the the red uh, arrow so you, you tap on that red arrow and you'll see this should pop up a couple of things here notice one aircraft missing coordinates it tells you exactly where it is by grid coordinates in case you're a long ways away and uh, you need to find it by some other method. And we'll talk about that in a future video. And now we hit this button here and the lights start flashing and it starts beeping. So it, it helps you find it. I don't know if you can hear it from that. Uh, we'll see. And then when you've found it, you hit that again and it stops. However, so that one we walked right to it and and it works great and uh, makes you happy but sometimes it doesn't work that easily so i'm going to use a different device uh, because sometimes devices have a hard time registering and catching up with it so i'm going to show you what happens on a different device and how you may want to be, you definitely want to be careful and, uh, and, and work around the problems that may come up from different devices. I am now on a different Android device than I was before. I've got it obviously in landscape mode. And the interesting thing is I am aimed uh, physically pretty close to where my drone is but the arrow shows me as pointing to the left perpendicular now by simply rotating my device my android phone to the left you see that it does point directly to where i'm going now here's the problem notice how it keeps jumping around as to where it thinks i am I, where you see the pin there on the right and i'll circle that for you uh, is not where I am where you see the pin now I just moved the pin and that's that's about where I am and it, it's not too far from there so that's not bad so here I am I'm heading up the up the street a little bit but I'm gonna stop for a moment and I'm going to hit that compass button that I talked about earlier down in the lower left hand corner right there and notice now that everything changes orientation so uh, it now should be aiming about the same way I'm aiming. Now I happen to be aiming due east and this is showing pretty much due east. Uh, if I turn myself to the north, uh, it tends to, I, I am aiming almost perfectly north and yet it shows that street which uh, north 2700 west, which also goes due north south it shows it as heading definitely north uh, east and southwest. So I'm gonna aim back over this way. And so that's where you can't always trust. But in this case, where I have the, the phone uh, in portrait mode, up and down, it is taking me towards the where the drone is pretty good so i like that now i'm i'm going to step out here just a little bit 
I may get into some wind where it's really hard to hear me, uh, although the wind seems to have, have died down and we're pretty good. Now notice that the, the arrow is not fi uh, following me very close because right now I'm just about here where I just put that pin and it still hasn't found me and it just went off the map so I've got to shrink it back down to refine myself and I don't know what caused that. Uh, here we are in the wind. So that's just an indicator of the kinds of things that you need to practice with as you get ready to use your device in finding my drone. Well that wraps up today's vlog on Find My Drone. I hope that it was helpful to you. I hope that you learned that you need to get out ahead of time and practice with it just like I didn't do so that you have confidence when and if you ever do lose your drone. So know where it is and then use the Find My Drone app in your device so that you know how your device reacts to it. It's been fun. I hope you uh, benefited from it in some way. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and the bell. Leave me a comment. Tell me about the time you lost your drone or other fears <laughs> that you might have with your drone. I will be posting some more on how to recover your drone and some other tips and tricks that I think will help you and also some other photography some travel and trips and just general fun stuff that uh, we run into as we go along so look forward to seeing you leave me a comment leave me a like a subscribe the whole works and i look forward to seeing you in a future video